All right, I was home for two nights, one full day. Swapped out my laundry, topped off my water bottle, and back on the road. Headed up to Austin for South by Southwest. Start to my morning in Austin, Texas. I'll tell you, someone now 45 years old, I'm confident the only thing that's keeping me going and competitive with the younger shooters is consistently getting exercise even when I'm on the road. So kicking off my morning here, not my favorite gym, but they're available in pretty much every city here in the States. Got that out of the way, I'm gonna go have a nice sit down breakfast and we have a 12 hour day today scheduled. So appreciate the OT, but uh, I know it's gonna be a lot of running around. So glad I'm uh, keeping up with the fitness. South by Southwest. So every year going back, I would say about 10 years, I get phone calls to work this event. This goes back to prior to me being based in Texas, even when I was in California. I would be working in the Texas Austin area during South by. However, I've never at the actual main event, although I don't know if there is a main event. I think it's just scattered all over the city now. So I was at this one venue for a corporate client. We're working for the agency that put the event together that's based in Philadelphia. That was Gino on sound. Gino just got back from Ghana, worked on a feature film there. And I think between Ghana and my shoot, he had a few days up in Montana on something else but man I think I'm on the road a lot and then I talked to Gino and realized he's going to the big places for longer durations and most of his work is features and TV series and I would name drop it's a bunch of household stuff you're probably familiar with but due to the nature of NDAs and secrecy I can't tell you but uh, it's some cool stuff so this thing we were doing a bunch of different interviews and b-roll I'd say my day was about 60%, maybe 70% stacked on the interview side, and then B-roll, and this order was just single camera FX9, but like my last several shoots with my new FX3, I brought it along to spend as much time as I could get getting confident with the camera. FX9 was set aside specifically for interviews on the tripod, and then I, I just used the FX3 on the gimbal and some handheld for the B-roll component. Late today, we're gonna be getting into live music. So I'm going to put these in my pocket now. Ew. <coughs> Uh-oh, there's only one there. I am out of this fresh earplugs. There we go. Cleanable reusables. Producer requested a monitor. So get the Paralynx going here. See, I need the T-handle hand tool to set the screw. And then I have a pre-configured stand for the monitor with a quick release. So nice working on projects with budget. I got a backstage parking pass. I'm right on the corner of the block from the building we're working in. It's like a minute walk to the truck. This year at South By, I was holding up to eight shoot days for three different clients, different assignments with a little bit of overlap. I think there were three days, no, I'm sorry, two days that overlapped. So I knew I was only gonna be able to accept one of those holds and it was just a case of whoever's ready to lock in first and then the the one with the biggest date hold they were floundering they were trying to price cut us and the phone rang for the uh, breaking news assignment monday through friday down at the border so i backed out of the south buy that had not yet committed over pricing went down to the border and then i ended up missing another single day at south buy but that one they were able to cover with another shooter. And again, that was just a hold. I was not yet booked. That's one of the challenges. I was like, you have to be, as a freelancer, when someone confirms you, you gotta honor that date. And it just stings sometimes when it's one day of work and the phone rings for another thing that's five or more days. You gotta take the high road and not burn bridges. Now, with that said, I'm happy to accept holds without a deposit, especially for ongoing clients. But even they understand the nature of freelancing, like I got to eat, I got to earn. So if their client's not ready to lock it in, I am free to pursue another thing that's ready to go. Seem to be getting more questions in the comments section requiring as to how much I charge specific dollar amounts and how is it different for 
a corporate setting versus maybe a live event versus news versus commercial. In years past, I would try to tune and do custom pricing for different levels of production for my own sanity in shuffling conflicting holds and days in the calendar. I kind of caught on years ago that it's better to just come up with a package rate for myself, a minimum that I'm happy with. And I am not willing to leave the house for less than that. And so my minimum rate, I'm not going to give you the actual dollar amount, but it's a market rate. And I'm certainly, I would say maybe a little bit on the high side at this point, but I'm also 25 years into my career. Um, so what I do is I have a package rate, 10 hours, portal to portal from my home base. And that includes a FX9 package, or at this point, the FX3 on the gimbal in its place. It's one camera package, one zoom lens, a basic LED interview kit, single microphone audio, and my little seven inch monitor and then the van, and then things are a la carte after that. So if they want a couple of 21 inch monitors, a second camera, additional lighting, like my Gemini's and aperture lights, I charge additional per item for those sorts of things. And then travel is basically half my day rate, uh, or I kind of look at it like 50% of my package rate is my labor and the other 50% is gear. So on travel days, I just don't charge for gear. Now the portal to portal component is the first thing I roll over on, especially if I'm bidding on a job like this one in Austin, I was a local. Austin's a 70 minute drive for me from my house, which is north side of San Antonio, or I'll just cap it at 30 minutes of drive time, even if I was in the car for an hour and a half. And then working up in Dallas to a bunch of the work I've done up there, I've just played it as a local. And if it's a multi-day thing and a multi-camera for me, I can just go out of pocket on the hotel and travel time, it's not an issue. Oh. Sorry. oh, the pizzas are here. Oh man, I found the hole. Found the hole. There you go. Oh my gosh, amazing. No, thank you. Appreciate it though. Establishing your base package rate off a of portal is also a good starting point for when they follow up asking for a reduced half day rate or a flat 12 hour on site rate you can prorate things accordingly. And the half day for me is mostly a no. It's just, it's my 10 hour portal number. All right, that's it for this week. This one's a little rough around the edges because I'm on the road and I just have not had downtime to focus and edit and put together a nice narration. We'll see you again next week. Life on the road. Thanks for watching.